क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वॉट आर द लिमिटेशन ऑफ रैशनल मैथड इन कैलकुलेटिंग वन ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ रन ऑफ इज ए कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मैटर विच डिपेंड ऑन मैनी फैक्टर्स लाइक द ग्राउंड परमी अबिलिटी रेनफॉल ड्यूरेशन रेनफॉल पैटर्न कैचमेंट एरिया करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एटसेट्रा Basically rational method is a means to find out the maximum discharge suitable for design purpose in this method it is assumed that the rainfall duration is the same as the time of consideration and the return period of rainfall intensity is the same as the peak run off time of consideration refers to the time required for the most remote location of storm water inside the catchment to flow to the outlet when the time of consideration is equal to the rainfall period the maximum discharge occurs and rainfall collected inside the catchment comes to the same outlet point rational method provides the peak discharge only and it cannot produce a hydrograph if a more detailed pattern of run off is required unit hydrograph or other methods have to be used the accuracy of rational method depends very much on our correct selection of run off coefficient and delineation of catchment area rational method is a rather conservative method one of the basic assumption of the rational formula is that the rainfall intensity must be constant for an interval at least equal to the time of consideration for long duration of rainfall this assumption may not hold true moreover the run off coefficient in rational method is difficult to be determined accurately and it depends on many factors like moisture condition of soil rainfall intensity and duration degree of soil compaction vegetation etc in addition in rational method the run off coefficient is independent of rainfall intensity and this does not reflect the actual situation thanks for watching